So I like to do this thing where I like walk into a room and then I ask poetry like what poem it wants me to do. Um, I was not ready for what it had to say today, but uh, <laughs> it makes sense, it makes sense. Um, it makes sense. <laughs> I'm like not ready, but like I'm, I'm ready. Uh, there's so much I could say about this poem, so like if you care about the ridiculously long backstory that I could go on and on about, um, ask me later. <sighs> About poetry sometimes. It's like, what do you want from me? It's sorry. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna do it now. Um, this is called The Words I Write to You. I love the words I write to you. I mean, you make writing easy. I mean, too easy. I mean, sometimes it takes me hours to construct one simple, flirty sentence, but if you gave me 15 minutes, I could write you an entire chapbook about how glad I am that you were born. I craft and sculpt elaborate enigmas that you don't try to solve. I mean, I wander through labyrinths I've constructed in your honor and admire the architecture. I mean, your replies are always so short. I try to write less. Weeks go by and I start to forget you. I mean, I can only forget so much. I mean, I trace your name on my skin letter by letter every night. I mean, if I was a composer, I would write symphonies about the curve of your smile. I mean, I love the words I write to you because they are my only souvenirs from that time I tripped and fell for that look in your eyes. I mean, why are your replies always so short? I mean, I can't do this forever. I mean, it hurts. I mean, don't forget me. I mean, do you remember me? I mean, do you even care? I mean, I love the words I write to you because they remind me to not forget us. And every word you don't write to me makes me feel like you've forgotten, or worse that I wasn't worth memorizing in the first place. I mean, I love the words I write to you because they know what I want to say. I mean, I love the words I write to you because they, want, they know what I want to hear. I mean, I'm tired of talking to myself. I mean, we just started talking yesterday. And now it's all you, me, you, me, and I'm all tsunami, always wet, always crying. And I just want to know if you feel the same. Because every letter I write to you turns into a word, and every word turns into a metaphor, and every metaphor turns into a reminder that you might not feel the same. I mean, when we talk, I'm afraid of how much I feel. I mean, when we talk, I'm afraid of scaring you. I mean, I pull away when I see the length of your sentences because I think you're saving up the longer ones for someone you actually care about. I mean, I wish it was me. I mean, sometimes I think it is. I mean, if you want me, let me know. I mean, I don't need you. I mean, how am I so obsessed with somebody I haven't even kissed? I mean, I want to kiss you. I mean, you have raised my standard for what a human being is, and now nobody measures up. Mm. I mean, I wish somebody would measure up because my lips are burning, you're 20 different shades of far away, and nothing I say is going to change that. I mean, this is the last poem I'm going to write about you. I mean, this is the last poem I'm ever gonna write about you. I mean, this is what I said about the last 10 poems. I mean, I love the words I write to you. I mean, I love you. And I know you said I love you to me before, but it's not the same. Because I love you the way a poet loves somebody that she's written thousands of words about and hasn't kissed. So when you tell me you love me and I say nothing back, it's because I actually mean it. Mm. 
Do you? I mean, come find me. I mean, goodbye.